hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Yasmin if you're not then you already know what my name is so I'm here and I am bold I'm literally bold um so I just you guys you guys wouldn't know I was gonna say if you follow me on Instagram then you would know but no one would know this um so basically I took a break from wearing wigs because one it's really long two it's just like damaged your hair for a while like it does like I'm not gonna like everyone's like oh if they're glueless which people say glueless but glueless basically is with like got to be glued so technically it is still a glue wig a glued wig like unless I'm getting it wrong I know some people call glueless wigs glueless wigs even though they're not um which is what I was wearing and basically it just it just wears away your hairline as well I've got this on because I don't even know why I have this on um, but I'm gonna put this back around my neck in a sec. So, yeah, I took a break. Um, my hairline's actually doing way better now. Um, ignore my really shitty braids. I did them this morning as soon as I woke up because my hair is straight at the moment. Um, because I cut my hair. You see, it's really blunt. Um, I cut my hair into like a bob basically. MC helped me get the back because I couldn't get it straight at the back. But yeah, my hair's straight, so I'm just gonna put the wig on top of here I was looking for a wig cap but I can't find it so don't judge me so basically I was like look for wigs and stuff and if you obviously is like my number one like she it makes amazing wigs like there's no question about it I always recommend going to her but I was looking for like some a bit cheaper like I'm not saying she's too expensive but a bit cheaper wigs um, and I wanted to go from wearing a full lace wig to wearing a closure wig because I used to wear closures a lot and to be honest it's just so low maintenance compared to wearing a uh, a frontal especially if you have to go like especially if you're working every day and you have to wake up at a certain time it's sometimes just so long to put those on um and also it's low maintenance so there's that um so I had bought a wig for somewhere else for uh I wasn't really happy with it to be honest the quality just seems really like lackluster like it's just there was no care put into it like the wig was made because I got a, I got the ginger bob I don't know if you've seen it it was made but I had to cut it because they made it with the hair length hair that I asked for so it was like it was made of like 12 hair but it wasn't cut so it was literally just like the person constructed the wig didn't even cut it didn't style it didn't even dye it or bleach the knots and just sent it to me so the, the lace was really like thick and rough and it was just not like it was just not what I wanted but and I paid that money for it so I was really disappointed as well so this time I decided to go with Melissa Jade um, MJ MJA hair I've tried to buy hair from them before and I just never follow through because I'm just really skeptical because sometimes it's a lot of money um, but I bought this one in the January sale so it came in a bag like this um, took about two weeks for it to be sent um, check your junk because I didn't get an email. I got an email yesterday, the well, day before, saying that it had been sent, but it was sent to my junk, so I didn't know I even got that. And it comes with the MJA hair bag with wig in it. And it comes, it literally comes like this, and it is got netting on it, so you know, just protect the hair and stuff. I basically got a 6x6 six six, um, closure, so it's a bit like a frontal, but it's still a closure in a sense, but you just don't have the sideburns bit, which I'm happy about because I get to save my, the rest of my edges, you know. Um, this is a wig, this is what it's, because she, di she dyes the hair for you as well, because she asks for, you want light brown, or do you want medium brown, something like that. Um, and literally, there is no comb at the back, which I'm a bit like, like I really like combs at the back of mine. But sometimes they are a bit annoying. And this is the, I'm not really good at this whole wig thingy. It's so weird putting on a closure because I'm used to just like putting my wig on and then hooking it by my ears. Oh, the hair's so silky. So like everything's just slipping out of my hand. It is very tight. Obviously I give measurements and stuff. I mean, that is not entirely a bad thing, it being tight. Um, but like look at that that pretty much already like is melted in obviously you can see this bit and stuff because that's that's not got any of the hair color on it but like 
literally that looks like hair like i showed mc yesterday and he was like oh my god that looks like it's coming out of your head already i think i'll gel it down and then cut the lace which i don't usually do i usually do that way around but i thought maybe today i'll be a bit different so i'm using if it focuses i'm using the olive oil grip hold um that everyone's basically onto at the moment and i have a designated cloth for um, my wigs yeah it looks disgusting but this is even after i've washed it because it's got a lot of like glue and rubbing alcohol on it so uh yeah it's a bit messy i have my hairline right comes slightly forward um and it's really annoying when it comes to lace like um frontals so if you're like me and you just want to like have just you know just take a break from the wigs try like a six by six or seven by seven seven by seven i was literally like oh let me just get it but i didn't want to pay an extra 30 pounds usually i use like a end of a comb or something now i'm using the super hold spray from ors or i used i used to, I used to call it olive oil and, and like, i don't know what it's actually called and i usually what well, i used to spray a bit and then always on cold don't cut too far because you can't go back once you've done it to be honest I'm a bit anxious about having closure especially one this big just because I'm having a bit of like trust issues not trust issues but I'm having a bit of like anxiety about um, the lace because I love wigs and stuff but the lace always like is dead and especially I'm the kind of person that takes my wigs off every day and that just makes it worse so I'm a bit anxious about that but See my my edges always stick out. So unless I bring the wig like super super forward, my edges stick out. But because it's a closure, it's not necessarily gonna like do that. So I'm just gonna have to like clean off that. So my camera cut off but um i've got some of my bronzer and this little techniques brush that basically is done for because the things started to come out and i'm basically putting that on there right so make sure you have this down here and yeah i think i definitely could have pulled the wig forward a bit more because I mean it is slightly, it's not on my hairline actually, my hairline is actually quite further back. That's what I'm not going to do with the big head. Um, but, it's like if you wanted to add baby hair and stuff, then at least you've got their space for it. But I don't like baby hairs, but we'll see if I do baby hairs. So, let's put that there. As I said guys, I'm not a wig genius, so don't roast me, but I mean at least you can see how well constructed this wig is right i was gonna say rightio and i'm like i don't talk like that so it is curled but yeah like some of the curls in the back have dropped let's just see what it looks like what's this thing it's so weird because I'm, I'm trying to like i'm literally i'm literally about to tuck my you know my little flip like flaps over my ears and i'm like wait i don't have any i don't have any that goes far back so I actually could have brought this slightly forward. That I will do on another day. I didn't realize how far back it goes, so I'm just gonna like cover the back bit just there. I hope you guys at least enjoyed watching me attempt to put a wig on. Um, it's like, it's not even a big, like major wig, but it's still like, you know, 
something new for me. Overall, I'm actually really impressed with this wig. Um, in future, I'll bring this a bit more forward. So, I pulled it forward now. It looks much better, especially on the side. Don't look like I'm bold and I'm, don't look like I'm some sort of bold, bold, I I'm trying to say a bold, like a bold egg, but I'm coming up with boiled egg. It's like this little bold egg. You know what? You know what I'm trying to say. But yeah, it's much better now. It looks like more like a frontal. Um, definitely gonna add a bit, like, gonna re add these curls. It looks much better. Obviously, I'm still Yasmin. I'm not that great at doing wigs yet, but eventually I'll get there. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something on what to do and what not to do. And yeah, I can't stop looking at myself because this looks like a sewing. It looks like a like a relaxer. It looks like a perm. You know, it looks spicy. Britney is back. I'm joking. But yeah, I hope you guys learned something. I hope to see you in the next one. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.